The old Grace Hospital remains derelict on University Avenue West, but city officials say their hands are tied. The private consultants hired by the owner have been on the site for the past several weeks, according to Chief Building Official Leanne Doyle. The Ministry of Labor issued an order at the beginning of March banning all work on the grounds until all harmful substances, including asbestos, are removed. The report that administration did to council was indicate to council that the Ministry of Labor is basically in control of the site in terms of any further work being done on the site. Uh, uh, for ourselves or for the owners to go in and do anything on the site, there has to be clearance from the ministry. In order to get that clearance, they have to have a clean bill. Although the building is in a dilapidated state, Doyle says the structural integrity of the building is in good shape. The city of Windsor cannot make any demands about anything on the site, but they remain vigilant in trying to keep the site secured to prevent any health and safety issues from arising. We're waiting right now to see what the results are from the consultants work that's being done on the site. Residents living around the blight have reported a dip in property values, some as high as 34 percent. Ward 3 councillor Fulvio Valentina says he wants to see the site developed or at least cleaned up. That is a huge chunk of land. It's a huge piece of property. Uh, it's a critical piece of property in terms of its location. It's on a major thoroughfare. Uh, it's near you know, the heart of our city, the center. The Gray site owner has until June to pay the over $1.1 million in tax arrears. Doyle says the tax sale is slated for June if the owner fails to meet the deadline. Reporting for MediaPlex News Now, I'm Jason Vio.